Am I audible to everyone? Okay, so you are doing surface area of cone, right? And you have done till question number five, right? Right? Okay, let's start with question number six, then we'll be doing uh, question number seven, then eight, whatever will be uh, simple, I'll be leaving that for you. And then we will be continuing from there, all right? Is it okay? Everyone? Is it okay to everybody? Yes, Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me check the question. Question number six. Okay. Someone just have on the uh, video. Can you unmute yourself? Am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you from class nine? Yes. Yeah. So now are you doing uh, the surface area of cones? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So your teacher who takes your class, Mariam ma'am, she is not well today, so I'm taking your class today, okay? Okay, ma'am. So we are starting with, uh, I got the notification that you have done till question number five. So let's start with number six, okay? After that, we'll be covering this topic and then we'll, we will be moving to the next part also, all right? Okay. So the next question, that is question number six is, let me write it. Yeah, the slant height Let me write the question quickly so that you can also see the question and then we will be solving it. And base diameter of a conical Tom a twenty five meter and fourteen meter, respectively. Find the cost of find the cost of whitewashing its curve surface at the rate of Two hundred and ten per hundred meter square. Okay. Here, let's draw the picture at first. Okay, let's draw the figure at first. So the question says the slant height. 
the question says the slant height and base diameter of a conical tom so let's say this type of tom we are having which is in the structure of cone cone here what exactly is given it's given that the slant height and the base diameter so the base diameter is given and the slant height is given and that too respectively respectively means whenever slant height is mentioned at first and base diameter is mentioned after that the numbers are also in that sequence that is the first number 25 meter is the slant height and the next number 14 meter is the base diameter that's the meaning of respectively that that means with the respect of given data okay so slant height l is given as 25 meter and base diameter is given as 14 meter find the cost of white washing its curve surface at the rate of 210 per meter square here one more thing you must notice that here we are having 210 let me check is it rupees 210 yeah it's rupees 210 per 100 meter square so this meter square is the unit of area right so from here also we can understand during the exam how you will understand whether it's about volume or it's about area so just by looking at the unit that is meter square you will be able to identify okay meter square is the unit of area that means this is indicating something about area that means surface area of the cone conical term is already mentioned all right so at That's first fine. what we'll be doing over here so the question says the slant height and the base diameter of a conical tom are already given find the cost of white washing the cost of white washing is representing that we have to do something with the area of the cone okay hmm. so let's find the area of the cone surface area of the cone what is the yeah. formula of surface area of the cone anybody mam curve so fir is uh, area is pi rl and uh, the total surface area is pi rl plus uh, pi r square and here we have to focus on curve surface surface is, yeah. we are going to white wash the curve surface only so yeah, curve so surface l area of conical tom this pi rl r we already know because diameter is given as a 14 so radius we can find it 14 over 2 that is 7 meter all right r we know l we know easily we will be able to find the curve surface area right yes or no now it says yes, that the yes now it says that the cost of white washing its curve surface area is the rate rate is given 210 per for 100 meter square suppose you are going to market you are just asking the price of a pen and i am saying that 100 pen cost is this much so what you will ask please let me know the cost of one pen right or by yourself you will calculate the cost of one pen first right then you will be able to decide that okay you need 5 pen 10 pen 20 pen or whatever number of pen but at first your concern would be what is the total cost of one pen right similarly here 100 meter square price is given we have to find the price of one meter square then only we will be able to find the total price of whatever our curve surface area is let's calculate it so pi 22 over 7 r is 7 only l is 25 so what we will get can anybody tell me after doing the whole calculation what exactly we will get that meter square we will get please tell me take your time do the calculation and do let me know 550 yeah 550 anybody saying anything ma'am answer is 550 answer is 550 we got our curve surface area is 550 meter square we have to find the 
cost of 550 meter square. And what cost is given? 100 meter square cost is given. I told you that whenever 100 things cost I am giving, you must be thinking about what is the cost of one thing. And then only according to your according to your uh, requirement, you will buy the stuff. If you need 550 pence, then you will buy it. Once you will know what is the price of one pen. So for calculating the total price for one meter square, let's say for 100 meter square, cost is rupees 210. So we will be finding for one meter square at first because then and only then we will be able to decide what is the total cost of our requirement thing that is 550. So one meter square cost will be 210 divided by 100. Is it clear to everybody? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Similarly, we, what we have to find, we have to find for 550 meter square. So for 550 meter square, the cost will be 210 divided by 100. You can do the calculation beforehand or you can do every thing yeah. over here. Whatever you will get from here, that is the total amount needed. 21 into 55. Cost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is. Yes, tell me. Um, one second, I, just do the calculations. Yeah, do it. One thousand one hundred fifty. Uh, yeah, one thousand one hundred fifty-five. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Okay, this is the total amount which is needed to whitewash five hundred and fifty meter square. Again, I am repeating. In exam, it will not be mentioned that this question is from cone cone section. And yes, here you need to find the surface area. Maybe the surface area word will also be not given over there, then just with the help of the unit, that is meter square, meter cube, you have to identify, okay, you are going to proceed with the volume or the surface area of the cone. Okay. Now the next question is, a joker cap, Let me write it. A joker cap is in the form of right circular cone whose base radius is seven centimeter and height is 24 centimeter. Find the area of the sheet required to make 10 such caps, okay? Let's see what exactly is given in the question. So here it says a joker cap is in the form of right circular cone. We know the structure of joker cap is exactly a conical shape, okay? Yes, here base radius is given as seven centimeters. So base radius R is given as seven centimeter. And what else? Height is given as 24 centimeter. This height is given as 24 centimeter. What we have to find? The area of the sheet required to make 10 such cap. For making one such cap, we need the curve surface area, right? When we are going to make one cap, 
we need what the outside part only curved surface area right because joker cap means what there will be no bottom we can wear it like this right so this is about curved surface area not total surface area when we will be finding total surface area when we will paste something at the bottom also a circular lid that is called the that that's the point where we have to think about the total surface area joker cap will be made of just this curve part there is no need to cover the bottom part right so here we can we have understood that we just have to find the curved surface area of this cone for one cap one cap one curved surface area 10 cap 10 curved surface area right one cap means one into curved surface area 10 cap means 10 into curved surface area yes or no so first we will be finding the curved surface area of this cone what is the formula for curved surface area of the cone pi r l what we know here we know r but do we know l no we don't know slant height over here and without slant height it is like it's not possible to calculate the curved surface area of the cone so let's find curves the slant height at first do you know how to find slant height do you know when we will take this as a 7 this as a 24 can we find the slant height just by taking the right right angle triangle anybody do you know pythagoras theorem yes ma'am so can we say l square is equals to the sum of h square plus r square now how hypotenuse like, square uh, oh okay is equals okay. to yeah base square plus height square yes ma'am our base is 7 height is 24 and slant mm. height is something like a hypotenuse only i have taken this okay. triangle from here i have yeah. taken it from here and drawn it over there mm. now with the help of this two data easily we can find the slant height how yes, just sir. by using pythagoras theorem because it's yeah. the height height means at 90 degrees it must be there so we got a right angle triangle right angle triangle means pythagoras theorem right so yes, now sir. we can take height as a 24 square And radius as a seven is square, so twenty four is square plus seven is square. Seven is square. We already know forty nine twenty four is square. Is what? Check it. Yes, ma'am. Five seventy six, ma'am. Five seventy six. Once we will add both, what exactly we will get? Six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. That is L square. Are we interested with L square? No. We wanna find L. L yeah. Means... So six twenty-five divided by no root. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Square root, and that will give us twenty-five. Twenty-five square is six twenty-five. Okay. So, Alvin, slant. Yeah, Alvin is twenty-five. So now we can do the calculation: twenty-two by seven times seven times L. That is twenty-five. I think the same calculation we have done in the previous question: twenty-two by seven into seven into twenty-five. Yeah. Twenty-two by seven into seven into twenty-five, and someone has said that it is five hundred and fifty. So let's use this calculation, okay, without wasting our time. So we will be getting five hundred and fifty meter square. Okay, here centimeter is there. So centimeter square. This is the unit of area. Okay, and now what we have to find? Find the area of the sheet required to make how many seats? Ten such caps. 
This is the area we need to make one cap. Five fifty centimeter paper or five centimeter uh, centimeter five hundred and fifty centimeter square sheet is needed to make one cap. We wanna make ten cap. So for making ten cap. total area of sheets required is equals to 10 times 550 is it okay to everyone yes ma'am that is 5500 cm square is the total sheet like total area of the sheet that is required to make 10 cap okay is it clear to everyone let's move to the next question so the last question says a bus stop let me write it okay so the question says a bus stop is barricaded from the remaining part of the road by using 50 hollow cones made of recycled cardboard each cone has a base diameter of 40 cm and height 1 cent 1 meter if the outer side of each of the cones is to be painted and the cost of Painting is rupees twelve meter square. What will be the cost of painting all these cones? Here two values are given over here. Let me write it. Pi is given as three point one four rather than twenty two by seven. It's in decimal uh, version. And take under root one point zero four as one point zero two. Yeah, this two information is already given over here. Okay. okay let me read the question from the very beginning what exactly it says so here it says a bus stop is barricaded 
from the remaining part of the road by using 50 hollow cones. Okay. We are using 50 hollow cones over here made of recycled cardboard. So 50 hollow cones are there which are made of recycled cardboard. All right. Each cone has a base diameter of 40 centimeter. If I am drawing a cone over here. Here base diameter is D is given as 40 centimeter. And height is given as height is given as 1 meter. Okay. See the unit. Unit are different. One is centimeter, another is meter. So the very first thing we have to do is to make the unit same. Okay. Both the unit must be exactly same, either meter, meter or centimeter, centimeter. Okay. Yeah. If the outer side of each of the cone is to be painted, again, the outer side of the cone is painted. Yeah. So, so uh, curved surface area. Curved surface area. Okay. And the cost of painting is given as rupees 12 meter square. So since the cost of painting is again given in meter square, better from the very beginning, take everything in meter only. Okay. Now okay. cost of painting is given as rupees 12. Okay. Here per meter square, I have not written. I believe it was per meter square. Yeah, per meter square was there. Yeah, the word per was there. Per means for one meter square. What will be the yeah. cost of painting all this cone? How many cones are there? 50 cones are there. You mm -hmm. have understood that you have to find the curve surface area. What is the formula for curve surface area? Pi R L. R yeah. we know. With the help yeah. of diameter, we can find R easily. Mm -hmm. L, do we know L? No, we don't know L. But Pythagoras theorem is the savior. That will help us to find yeah. L. When we know R and H, it is simple to find L. So let's find it. First find, let's L. L will be, L square will be, you have understood it will be R square plus H yeah. square. You can also see it in the figure that this is R, this is H, this is L. So L square, hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus height square. What is R? R is 40 by 2, but that in centimeter. That is 20 centimeters. 0 0.2 meters. Yeah. So if we will divide it by 100, we will get it in meter. That is 0 0.2 meter. So R square, we can use 0 0.2. That's whole square. And H square is already in meter. That is 1, one is square. So 0 0.2 square will be, let's do the calculation. So 2 times 2 will be 4, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2. If you will do the multiplication, what you will get? Like 4 you will get and then 1, 2. So can I say 0 0.2 will uh, in times 0 0.2 will be 0 0.04? Yes. Can I? And plus 1 will be 1.04. 1. 1. Can I say? Yeah. Yeah, so we got 1.04, okay? The overall calculation which we are having on the right-hand side, it is 1.04. Let's write it. So we got over here 1.04. That is L square, but we have to find L. Here in the question with the given hint part, you can see under root 1.04 value is already given. That is 1.02. So no need to worry about this. This is in meter. We have already got the slant height. Now we are going to find the curved surface area by using slant height radius. So let's do it. Curve surface area. Area of each cone. That is... Pi RL, pi value is already, it is written in the question, use 3.14 pi into R. R is 0 0.2 in meter and L is 1.02. This calculation can take your time. Now let's move to the, like you will be able to do the calculation, right? You can note it down in your copy. Later on, you can do it by yourself.
Is it okay? Now, what exactly the question says that we are making how many such cones? This is the curve surface area for one cone. But how many such cones are there? So, if you will get back to the question, you will be able to see that total 50 hollow cones are there. Okay. That means we have to find the curve surface area of 50 cones. So, curve yeah. surface area area of 50 cone will be whatever you have got the curve surface area of one cone that you will multiply it with 50. So, 3.14 into 0 0.2 into 1.02. Is it clear so far? Yes, ma'am. Now, we, we don't have to find the curve surface area of the 50 cone. What we have to find? The cost of painting all this cone. What is the price? The price is rupees 12 for 1 meter square. So, for 1 meter square, for 1 chocolate cost, the price is rupees 12. How much chocolates or how, how what is the total area we are having that we need to do the calculation? Let's do it quickly. Okay. We are almost done. So please do the calculation and do let me know what we will get here. Here. And what we will get here. Take your time and do the calculation. So that we will be done with this one also and we can move uh, easily to the next topic. That is, is, is fair. Yeah. Take your time and do the calculation. Yes, Answer is three two zero two eight. The answer is three 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 two zero two eight. Here you are saying or up above one thirty three two point zero two eight. Is it yes. so? Yes, ma'am. Is it so? Ma'am, I got that answer. Everybody yes, get. Yeah. So for one meter it is square, the price is twelve rupees. We have to find so for what? three two point uh oh two eight meter square. It's uh two point six six nine. Yeah, we just have to do the multiplication with twelve. So everybody, are you getting? Like after the multiplication, what exactly are you getting, everyone? No, one second. Three eight four three three six. Yeah, someone saying three eight four point three three six. Three three six. That is the total price we are getting. Okay, for fifty cones. Yes. That much, like whatever area is required for fifty cone. That that. That much cardboard price is this one. Okay. So we are done with cone. Now we will be moving with the concept of spheres. Okay. Just a moment. Let me check.
okay so now we are going to start the concept of spheres okay yeah so here also we will be discussing about the surface area of a sphere at first but what is a sphere these are the geometrical shape which we see in like in our daily life day to day life every day you see such shapes all around you so the example of a sphere can be orange example of a sphere it's not the circle you can see orange it's a three dimensional shape and this is not like a circle circle means a circular plate a flat surface a circle when i will take a paper and will cut it a circular plate or a sur flat surface from there in the shape of circle that is circle but a sphere is different from circle a sphere is a three dimensional shape which will just look like a orange or will look like a globe example of a sphere can be globe or any like ball also can be this uh, shape of a sphere circle and a sphere are different shapes circle is a two dimensional shape circle is a flat surface a sphere is a three dimensional shape okay so here we are going to if i will draw the sphere maybe i will be able to draw it just like a circle only but in reality it's not like a circle okay it's a 3d shape okay all around 3d shape is what when you will you will look it look at it from the left you will see something else when you will look at it from the right from the back from the front you will see something a different view you will get that's called 3d shape so sphere is the three dimensional shape which we are having all around us in the shape of orange in the shape of anything a ball a globe on your table which you keep a globe that is a spherical shape we are going to talk about the surface area of this spherical shape again when we are going to talk about the surface area of this sphere so i will just re revolve like my hand all around the surface the name is saying all about itself surface area okay now in this sphere we are having the only one formula that is the surface area total surface area is not there okay only we are having surface area that is all around the globe all 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 around the ball and the formula for surface area of a sphere is or by r square 4 pi r square this 4 pi r square came from the circle this is sphere is also having radius okay here if i will draw it like this here also we are having the radius of the sphere okay if you will take this radius and will draw four circle one circle two circle three circle four circle of the same radius so this area is pi r square this area is pi r square this area is pi r square and this area is also pi r square this four circle area co will combine together and will give the surface area of this sphere one easiest method to understand it is take a or uh, take a thread and start covering the sphere okay now whatever is the total length of the sphere like whatever is the total length of the thread which you have used to cover the whole sphere suppose you are having a ball and you started covering the whole ball just with the help of this thread okay you are covering okay now you will find that same length of the uh, thread is required to cover this this circle like it will get cover with this 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 like this the same thread still the thread is left you will be able to cover this circle also like this still the thread is left you will be cover able to cover this one also still the thread is left you will be cover to this one also so whatever is you have used for for covering this sphere 
with the same thread you are covering four this four circles that's why the surface area of the sphere is equals to pi r square pi r square pi r square pi r square that means 4 pi r square okay so this is the formula for surface area of the sphere now what about when we will cut out the sphere so when you will cut out the sphere just a moment yeah when you will cut out this sphere it will look like a ball kind of a structure like this over here and like this over here okay this is called hemi sphere hemi means half of the sphere this is also called half of the sphere exactly from the middle you are cutting okay from not from here and there exactly from the middle from the diameter you are cutting the sphere and you got to hemi sphere the name is that time it was semicircle. This time it is hemisphere. Now the surface area of the hemisphere, you will get it differently. Now let me come on the screen and let me uh, explain you what exactly is this hemisphere. Yeah. So I was talking about I was talking about hemisphere. What is hemisphere? When you will cut out, cut out this is this is a sphere. When you will cut it out, you will get a hemisphere from here, a hemisphere from here. Now the area of this hemisphere will be half this curved surface you will get, and a circular like top or circular bottom also you will get when you are cutting the hemisphere. The best example of hemisphere can be the bowl in which you have your soup, in which you have your uh, lentils or anything. That is the one of the best example of hemisphere. When we are going to find the surface area of the hemisphere, what exactly we will get, let me show you. Yeah. So when we are going to find the surface area of curve surface area of this hemisphere, curve surface area, this will be just like the circle, half of the curve surface area of the sphere. That means 2 pi r square. But here only the curve surface is not there. You can see the circular part on the top that is also there that's why here we are having total surface area also for the hemisphere only when we are talking about a sphere there is only one formula like related to area that is curve surface area there is no total surface area and all okay only the curve surface area is there because only we are having the curve path and when we are going to cut it down when we are having two hemisphere now we will be talking about curve surface area total surface area what is curve surface area curve surface area just came out from the sphere part that is half of the sphere 2 pi r square okay but what is total surface area the curve surface area and this circular one the curve surface area total surface area of hemisphere is equals to let me draw the hemisphere this part came from a sphere so its curve surface area is half of the sphere now what about this part this part also you have to take in consideration and that top part area will be it's a circle bangle is a circle a flat circle i have given you the example when you will cut a circle from your paper that is a circle okay that's area is only pi r square. So the total surface area of hemisphere will be this 2 pi r square plus pi r square. And eventually it will get added because we are having the same like term pi r square, pi r square over there. So we can say the total surface area for the hemisphere is 3 pi r square. Is it clear to everybody? Yes. Yes, is yes, it clear yeah. yeah so this is how surface area 
when we are talking about a sphere only one surface area is there we will not be talking about curve we will not be talking about total yes we can say that as a curve surface area we can say that as a total because both are exactly same thing we are having just the overall part the outside part okay but when we are cutting it down it will just get distributed like a coconut and we will be having the circular top also so they are two things we will be talking about the curve surface area of hemisphere and the total surface area of the hemisphere the curve surface area of the hemisphere came from half of the sphere's formula and total surface area of the hemisphere came from the our concept only the circular top that is pi r square which can be added over here it was not possible to add in the uh, when we were talking about cone when we were discussing about cone the formula was pi r l plus pi r square we were not adding both of them because that time it was not possible to add both of them but here it's possible 2 pi r square pi r square it's the same thing thing like like terms are there so we got 3 pi r square this is everything about the formula of curve surface area now we can jump directly and start solving the questions related to spheres okay so let's start with the very basic question like the first question let's say uh, let's see what exactly the first question says find the surface area of the sphere of radius we just have to find the surface area of a sphere whose radius is given as ten point five centimeter. Now, since we have to find the surface area of the sphere, don't have to get confused. Curve, total, nothing. Surface area means four pi r square, and that is four into. Pi value is exactly same. Twenty two over seven radius is already given. Ten point five square, and just by doing the calculation, we will get the surface area of the sphere. Be careful, surface area unit is again its centimeter square over here. Okay, so whenever we are whatever the be the shape, area means meter square, centimeter square, kilometer square like that. Volume means meter cube, centimeter cube, uh, kilometer cube like that. Okay, not kilometer cube, centimeter cube, meter cube. That we will take as a volume. Yeah, kilometer cube also we can take that. We can convert later into the other unit. Now, uh, the perimeter unit is only meter, centimeter, kilometer. Okay, so the unit must be known to you because in most of the question, while do while giving any competitive exam, while giving the examination. the word will not be mentioned properly so that time you must be aware with what exactly the unit is telling about you so that time unit will guide you whether you are supposed to think about perimeter you are supposed to think about area of any two dimensional shape or you are supposed to think about area of three dimensional shape okay area unit is same everywhere it's meter square centimeter square now first few questions are very basic find the total number 3 question says find the total surface area of hemisphere of radius Ten centimeter. Here it's given. Use pi is equals to three point one four. I told you whenever we are talking about hemisphere, we will think about total surface area or curve surface area. So here it says total surface area. We know total surface area formula is three pi r square. Some like if you are not sure, you can also take it. Total surface area is of hemisphere is equals to total surface area. Of hemisphere is equals to 
2 pi r square plus pi r square. You can also write it like this. You can also write directly 3 pi r square and then you can put the radius value, pi value and can do the calculation over here. If curve surface area would have been asked, then we would have calculated only 2 pi r square for hemisphere. Is it okay? 